Hi! Welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio, and this is going to be somewhat of a quick little video. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, basically, to catch you guys all up, in case you haven't been, you know, noticing anything. Yeah, I haven't been really posting too many videos um, because I was sick for about two weeks. Then I was trying to apply for a systems admin position. I didn't get it. And that's fine. And, you know, I, I respect their decision. At least they were up, forth, up front and honest with me about it and not like they didn't wait until um, and like hire somebody and like didn't even at least interview me or anything. But they did. So with that said, uh, am I disappointed I didn't get it? Yeah. Um, Am I also, like, I mean, am I totally heartbroken? No. I would, I thank them for actually being upfront and honest with me about it uh, because of my lack of cloud experience, working with anything, you know, like Azure, AWS, anything like that, um, you know. And that's fine. You know, I, again, I, I respect their decision. I don't, um, yeah, I don't fault them for that. They, they do have a lot of projects coming up that they need somebody with that experience. And, yeah, I know what a lot of people might say, and I'm even one of them, too, where it's like, okay, well, how do you get experience without it? Uh, because I know that AWS, Amazon has a free, you know, cloud-based thing, but you have to supply them a credit card because if you go over, they charge you. And if you do something stupid, you could end up having a $10,000 bill. And... Um, uh, last I look, I, I mean, I, I make decent money being a help desk technician. I do not make fan fucking tastic money making uh, being a help desk technician. So unfortunately, there's no way I could do the free. Now, anybody wants to list in the comments below the you know a place where yeah I could do it without that there. They just you know limit me in what I can do, which I'm fine with it. You know, I mean, I'd like to get some experience with it because I would like to move up in my career. I mean, I've been doing total between my previous employments and, and this current one. I've got about 16 years help desk. Yeah, I run my own server setup in my house, okay, which to me, I think that should apply, but you know, again, like I said, I, I understand their their reasons behind it. I mean, like I said, am I disappointed? Yeah. Am I pissed? No. I'm not pissed because, like I said, I'd rather somebody be upfront and honest with me than to pull their punches and then I find out later and then uh, I would get more pissed off that way than anything else. So I respect that and that's fine. Uh, as far as the storage server for my YouTube videos and that, uh, the card came in a while ago. It was while I was sick, and with everything that I've got going on right now, that uh, that I need to take care of before uh, that just needs to needs to get done or a little bit more top priorities. Uh, I had to fix a drain gate. I was trying to have something delivered. And that got all jacked to hell and back. Um, I'm going to have to reschedule that, and I have to work on that. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen. But ultimately, uh, you will see another part to the server setup, to the YouTube storage uh, server setup. The, the card's going to get swapped out, connected up, and other of those old drives are going to be put in. Because like I said, this is just for build-up and temporary configuration to see if if the if the things I'm setting up will work the way they are if not it'll have to be changed and that's why I'm not permanently putting anything on that because I will need to buy new drives so that I can do that cuz not to say that those drives are not reliable but eventually it's I mean those drives are fairly old and at some point they are going to fail and I really don't want to deal with it plus not only that I think a lot of them are SMR drives or shingled magnetic recording, 
And what that does is it stacks a layer and then on top of it, another layer and another and another, kind of like the shingles on your house. And it takes a lot longer to rebuild when you have a drive failure and there's a possibility you could have another or two fail. And even with a RAID level Z3, yeah, you lose three drives and you can have three failures without data loss. But what happens when you start rebuilding all three of those drives by replacing them and then you have a fourth drive die, then what? So, like I said, it's for testing for theory. Plus, I there's still another set of parts I need to get. Uh, I got to order those off of Amazon soon, and you'll see those too. And then once all the pieces are in place, then, like I said, it's just buying drives to put in so that I can then store everything the way it should. I uh, hope that helps, and you will see a, a, the next video on that series uh, coming up here two weeks after you see this video. And as I always like to say, have a good day, guys. Take care, and see you next time.